Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love tarot reading session for you, Leo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good, okay? This reading for today is for the Leo friends out there. Thank you, Leo, for tuning in. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for your support. This is a weekly love tarot reading session for you. What can I get for Leo, please? What is the love message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for you, Leo, all right? If you would like to further connect with me, Leo, you know what to do. All of the details about the private reading, extended reading, the merchandise, it's down in the description box below. This is your love reading. In the reading for today, Leo, we will be looking at the past, the present energy, who is coming towards you, how they feel about you, how they think about you. And depending on the message for today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading. We will be looking at the predictive outcome and the advice. And this is your weekly love reading. This is for the Leo friends out there. I would recommend you guys to check out the gratitude journal. This is free shipping worldwide. It is 100 days of gratitude. It's an introduction to journaling. Uh, there are four simple mindfulness questions in here. Two in the morning. I am grateful. And then you've got here, what do you want to manifest for today, achieve for today? And then you've got... Um, a check-in in the afternoon that you could do and list those amazing things that you have you have achieved and then you've got a self-reflection -ref um question in here to end your day or maybe to connect in the evening this is an introduction to journaling it's free shipping worldwide it comes with the hello sunshine planner check out the terms and condition this is free shipping worldwide okay so thank you in advance for purchasing for those who have purchased this Thank you, thank you. It's on its way to you. It can be a gift to yourself or for someone special um, this coming um, festive season, okay? So let me just ground my energy and let's start your reading. This is a weekly love message for Leo. Okay, coming in the past, you've got a seven of swords. Whew. Seven of swords, you've got a queen of wands, the two of wands. I'm getting a very strong vibe that someone is not faithful unfaithful look at that seven of swords queen of wands i feel like this is a heavy betrayal for some of you it's an obvious two of wands something full stop because of a third party if it's not a third party someone was just really i'd say very playful very flirty and you must misunderstood it or they mu they must have misunderstood you what i'm getting in the past energy is that you're serious they're not or they probably like you or they miss you, but not ready to settle, not ready to compromise, not ready for something serious, okay? Because it's Seven of Swords. I mean, to start off with the Seven of Swords, this is not good. And I feel like for some of you, Queen of Wands in reverse, it's very draining. Most especially if it's a toxic relationship, on and off, third party involved. It just went to full stop. Whatever took place in the past, it was draining. It, it turned out to be a full stop. It turned out to be a player. It turned out to be not so good, not so healthy for you. For you, in your life, in your daily activity. I feel like it has interrupted your daily activity. I mean, you know, Seven of Swords, there's a lot of fun moments between the two of you, but it never really depth. It never it never went to the depth. You know, it, it's deeper, okay? Um in the current energy moving to the immediate future predictive outcome and advice i'm seeing a two of cups i feel like you're gonna get some apology <clears throat> they you know for some of you dating and getting to know they were very playful they were very flirty for some of you this person um they have a capacity to love or to really get into a serious commitment but they just went out of a very messy divorce or very long-term or messy commitment that they appear to be playful flirty with you okay um because right now at this moment the, the present energy two of cups you had some amazing moment with this person it might have been there there must have been some deceitful energy um i feel like if if it if this thing hurt you if this person hurt you if the situation hurt you it, if it was a full stop, unexpected breakup, unexpected third party, it is meant to come out to really find out the reality of where you and your person should go in the future. It is, 
I'd say the truth that came out, it sets you free. And I feel like for some of you, you are in separation mode. And what your person is realizing, seven of wands, ten of wands, two of cups, that they thought that they were playing up with you, they're actually falling in love with you. Two of cups. Yeah, strongly. Your person, they started off fooling around, playful, not serious. But then you break up, you separated, something happened that took somehow a full stop. Your person think that you are a victim, but they're not. You're not. The victim in here is them. They were a victim of their own foolishness. Two of cups. Your person has fallen in love with you. You know, if there was a third party, you've they've always see you, they've always see you as something playful, something not serious, uh, something just a to go, like you're a takeaway. You're not the home base. You're just some sort of takeaway. They were just playful, having fun. But little did they know that they're actually falling in love with you, Leo. Yes, this person unexpectedly fall in love with you. And it only happened when you full stop, separated, disconnected. In here, for some of you, something came out. You know, the Ten of Wands. All of the, the mask has came off. Seven of Wands. Now this person is, is willing to fight for you. It's the reversal. It's the, it's the reversal. If you if if you think that this person has fooled you, no, love has fooled them. They have fallen in love with you. You know, it's it's a reading Leo where they were flirty, they were playful, and then you went on to a full stop. You you stop giving love. You stop you stop everything. You know, for some of you, you decided to stop or slowly stopping or something happened. Seven of Wands, there could be an argument. There could be some sort of um, not so good energy that you stop, you slow down. Something's not working and it slowed down your connection. And this person realized that, hey, I'm so affected. I thought I was just playing around. I thought I was just in the in the dating, getting to know, not serious. But hey. How come I still have feelings for my Leo? They were, the vic they were the victim of their own game. Yes, they were. I don't know what you feel right now, Leo. If you feel like you're betrayed or this or that. Don't let your self-confidence. Because I feel like some for some of you guys, your self-esteem, it's low. Don't. Don't. Because this person has fallen in love with you. Even though you caught them cheating or lying. They have fallen in love with you. They will never know until this happened. Yeah. Mm. Ten of Wands. The breakup happened. They realized that, wait a minute. I could not get over, get over of Leo. I've definitely fallen in love with Leo. When they thought it was just, this is not serious. This is nothing. No. You play with emotions. They will play back with you. Yeah. They had a dose of their own medicine. In the immediate future, predictive outcome and advice, definitely unfinished business. What is that? I'm hearing the word when the when the going when the when the going gets blah blah something. But then of swords, immediate future, predictive outcome and advice. You might be over them, but they're not over with you. Yeah, look at that. The sun card, upright position. Look at that, Leo. Um, your person is not over with you. I feel like you're over them. I feel like you're just getting yourself busy. You're just divert. In here, I don't sense your energy. I feel your self-esteem very low. Because you feel like you've been fooled around. You feel like you have invested something and you did not get some return. And you're not focusing on... In this reading, Leo, I, I pick up your energy as... I don't want to think about me. I don't want to think about it so much because you're self-confident is going low or self-esteem is going low whenever you think of the betrayal of the cheating or the inconsistencies or the breakup or this person okay you know for some of you there were dishonesty you know obviously several so but the more you think of that the more it's upset you so in here you're just really really disciplinating your thoughts your energy not to think about this person so much and just life goes on with you with you your person is different your person is different. They cannot escape love. You know, it, this person, Seven of Swords, they try to deceive you or love itself. No. Cupid, Ten of Swords, reverse. Has hit them big time. 
you know, it, they might not, you know, for some of you, they're in the process of realizing that because you've got the two of cups in here. Look at that two of cups. Look at that. Look at that. You know, it's round two Leo. In this reading, you're moving on. Your person is not They're realizing, you know, another one bite the dust. It, they were, they thought they fooled you. No, love has fooled them. They fooled themselves. Yeah. There's a return. Sun card upright position. This is you. This is your person or you, them. Two of cups. There's a lot of feelings. The feelings was tested when you break up or separated or an argument. This is where your person realized that I have such, you know, two of cups. I have so much feelings with Leo. I thought I was just playing around. I thought I was not serious. I thought I can leave Leo. No. They have to face you again. In the immediate future, predictive outcome and advice, they would reach out. They would face you. They would face all of the pain or disappointment or dishonesty that they did. You know, this person is willing to face the dishonesty. The, whatever they did to you, they're willing to face that. Because that's the key to get you back. They will get you back. They want to get you back. I'm going to extend the reading, Leo. And let's look at the next move your next move your person and predict predictive outcome within the next three to six months if you would like to follow me in the extended reading leo the link is down in the description box below but this is just getting started okay i'll see you soon leo i'll see you in the next um extended in the extended reading take care bye bye